Shut the hell up, bitch. I'm good. How about you? Not too bad. I do got like, feel like I got something in mind, Porque queremos lograr un cambio positivo en nuestra comunidad. Por eso, con la ayuda de voluntarios calificados de United Way, ahora puedes hacer tu declaración de impuestos gratis en nuestras tiendas. Visita unitedway.org diagonal cricket para conocer más detalles de cómo hacer tu declaración de impuestos gratis. Hopefully, uh, you and the, uh, the husband are doing pretty good. No idea what you said. It's gone on anyone. Rocky had his jabs today. He done really well. That's good. Good as always. Good as you can be, you know. Pretty good A1. What's going on, Dirty Santa? I don't know why the hell all of a sudden it's playing like edge music. Well, hopefully, everybody's doing pretty good today. It's gonna be a whole shit ton of streamers tonight, so of course kinda have to get on early to beat the rush. Kinda like traffic, you know? You gotta beat the rush and everything. Cause then at nighttime you get all like the crazy shit going on. Fridays and the weekends. What's going on, blood? How you doing, man? There we go. A little bit better. What's going on, blood? How you doing? I tip my hat to you, sir. I think that's how you do it, right? Something like that? If I'm doing it wrong, let me know. I probably did it wrong anyway. I probably did, so. 
whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said, A1. I don't know why all of a sudden it just started playing like Edge's entrance music all of a sudden. I don't know why. From like back in like 2005 and shit. I guess this uh, this radio station plays, not radio station, what, Pandora station? Plays a bunch of, uh, bunch of WWE music. You doing okay, Paco? I got mad. I got mad respect. You got mad? You got mad respect for you. I think you meant to say, I got mad respect for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm all good, blood. I'm all good, man. I'm all good. Like I was just saying, decided, of course, I always get on early if I'm gonna stream. I always get on, try to get on, uh, like, early in the mornings to stream. And especially today, you know, because during the nighttime, fucking forget about it. There's, like, chicks with their, their tits, um, uh, you know, women in thongs and shit like that. There's no possible way you could have a, a normal stream with that going on at night. Yeah, 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 pretty much, a little bit for the most part, yeah. I mean, it's all intention. Every single stream, every single stream has the... When, when it's fired up is to pretty much just be a, a normal stream, you know? Kind of go with the flow type of uh, thing, you know? What time is it there? I think it's like 11 o'clock or something. 11.09, I was close. Yeah, we're just gonna skip the WWE music all of a sudden because I don't know why it's doing that. There. Yeah. yeah, I meant to say I got mad respect for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, it's 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 a mutual it's a mutual thing, blood. It's all good, man. It's a it's a mutual thing. So no worries, man. Oh shit! I didn't even know this thing could turn sideways like that. That's fucking sweet. The little things you find out by your phone when you don't pay attention, right? All of a sudden, it like can like turn to the side. But then again, I don't really turn it to the side to listen to music, so how would I even know that, right? <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, I'm go all good, blood. Hopefully, uh, you and uh, Vamp and your kids are doing all right. <clears throat> Hopefully, you guys are doing all right. What do I do with that? No. I don't know where I put it. Oh well. Be yeah, all good, blood. All good, man. Just so you know, I passed 1,000 subs last night. Congratulations, man. Amazing. Fucking right on, bro. Right on, blood. How you gonna stream? Or how long are you gonna stream? Hell, I don't know, Lulu. That's the thing is, I don't think of these things. Like, I don't think of, uh, of, uh, like, how long I'm gonna stream for or anything like that. I don't really think of, uh, of, like, a certain time. You know, like, I don't say, like, oh, after an hour, I'm gonna cut it off. It's just kind of, you know, based on uh, uh, how I'm feeling type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Based on just how I'm feeling. That, that's that's what I go based on. You know, like if after an hour and a half, I'm uh, not wanting to stream anymore. Stream anymore? An hour and a half it is. If you know, four hours later, four hours later. You know, just depending on uh, when I kind of just feel like not really streaming anymore. You know. 
I'll go take my dog out. See you later. Maybe later. All right, Dirty Santa. You take it easy, man. Thank you for stopping by. Always appreciate it. What's going on, Ruthless homie? How you doing, man? Congratulations, Blood. I was asking because I was going to stream, but can't compete with you streaming. Well, in that case, I'll be nice enough. I'll do like an hour, maybe hour and a half tops, and I'll, I'll, I'll cut it off for you. I, 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 won't, I won't do that to you, Lulu. I'll... I'll be nice enough, I'll get off for you. I'll do my little, uh, my little, uh, stream, and then I'll let you do your thing. I'll let you take over. I'll be right back. Vamp asked me to do dishes. I'll be back. All right. Streaming Sunday. Are you streaming in the man cave blood, or is it going to be in the, uh, in the living room? No, you're alright, Paco. You're streaming for as long as you want. I'll just wait. Oh yeah, no, I'll be generous enough. I'll get off at a at a, a good hour, hour and a half. I'll cut it off. I'll be I'll be generous, you know. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty good, Ruthless. How about yours, man? Yours going pretty good. Yeah, mine's going all right. The mornings. Morning's pretty laid back, you know. Mostly, uh, mostly the evenings gets a little hectic, but you know, it is what it is. Roll with the punches, you know. But yeah, so far so good, man. So far so good. No complaints at all. So I'm good, man. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Living room. Uh, next man cave stream. Pool table will be here. Oh, pool table lady. Sweet. Do you have a date for that? Do you have a, a date set for that uh, stream blood? Because I definitely want to catch that. Whenever you have like guests or anything, of course it's something you want to you wanna see, you know? And blood, I'll sub you so I, uh, I watch Sunday. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Blood's a Blood's a cool dude. You know, he always uh, he always shouts me out in the end of his streams. He's always generous enough to me to, to to shout me out at the end of his stream. I mean, if you consider saying Paco for president as really a shout out, I kind of do. So I think it's it's a generous thing that he does that. You know, because I feel um, I feel not a lot of people are obligated really to uh, to to you know. So for any person that that does shout out someone else it's a cool thing you know it's a it's a it's a real uh it's a real cool thing when you actually um shout someone out and you kind of uh uh help them out as well you know pool table lady we we're just talking about how you're gonna be streaming with blood <laughs> what's up uh slide it through with them daily uh, blessings and prayers definitely wrong you know god bless you man salute Thank you for stopping by. Obviously, I have uh, my little cross, uh, little cross there. Um, so I do have, I do have some uh, beliefs when it comes to religion. I just don't really express them that much, um, based on the fact of, you know, religion's one of those uh, uh, touchy subjects. You know, you get into religion, and and you know, it it, it could be a very uh, a touchy thing to to talk about. You know. It's gone on Wicked. Blood. <clears throat> Thank you, Lulu. I got you back. It's good. Sun is out. That's it, homie. Along with it. Yeah, definitely. Let me turn this down, though. You ain't gonna fuck up my shit, Chris Jericho. Pool table lady. Yeah, yeah. We were just talking about pool table lady. How she's gonna be over your place. My man, Anita. <laughs> Yeah, you know what's funny, Russell, is people still don't get what that means. Like, when they uh, they do the real name request, and I accept it, and then they read it, they go, Your name's Anita? It's like, no, it's a joke. Read the whole name, and then you'll you'll kind of catch on. And then they're like, Anita Dick. And then they think about it. And they're like, Anita Dick. And then they have to, like, really think. And then they go, ah, ah okay, gotcha, Anita Dick. And then they kind of laugh about it. It's like, yeah, it's not that hard. No pun intended. I'm Christian. It's just the best respect you could give. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is, Rome's. It is. It definitely is, man. Um, 
you know especially if someone's in a, in a really bad uh, predicament um, personally you know if they're in a bad spot it really could uh, help somebody you know that's in a really bad spot um, in their personal life so I do agree with you on that she's not streaming with me I'm getting my pool table ah okay because when you said pool table first thing I thought of pool table lady just automatically I thought pool table lady you know yeah yeah it takes a little while Russell people don't really get the name um yeah I had one person that like well, had to read it over and over and over again you know they had to keep reading it and then finally they went ah I need a dick it's like yeah, yeah. how can I change my picture uh, beside my name uh, you gotta be able to log into your Google account uh, ruthless you gotta be able to log into your Google account and then um, it will have your blank picture right there or if you can log into your YouTube you can probably do it that way too um, Log into your account, and then it'll have your blank picture. Go into um, channel settings, I believe it is, if I'm thinking correctly. Channel settings, and then it'll have your picture there. Click on the picture, and then you're probably gonna have to like upload a picture to, uh, you know, you're gonna have it on your phone or, or your your uh, computer, and then uh, uh, put it on there, and there you go, you're set. Hey, <laughs> oh shit, what's going on? Uh, fucking, I saw Twisted. What's going on, Twisted? That's another cool motherfucker, man. It's twisted. I saw you, Devious. Don't think I forgot about you. I saw Kazi. Um, so don't think I forgot about you, too. I saw you, too. Um, but yeah, Twisted's another cool motherfucker, man. <clears throat> Much respect to Twisted. We've always, uh, we've always been really cool, so. Yeah. But what's going on, Devious? Why am I so dramatic? No fucking idea. No fucking idea. I guess just, I'm just dramatic, man. I'm a drama queen. What can I say? I love the drama, bro. We are entitled to uh, your opinion, Paco. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh man, we're not gonna get into that, but but that was that was pretty funny. I'll, I did I did get a good laugh at that. Oh man, twisted, my brother. Uh, H2K, what up? What up, Russell? I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Wicked. If I fail to believe, that's really you. I don't know if it is. It could be the dude with like the weird conformed penis. If it's really Wicked, the picture, it's really Wicked. But if it's the uh, like aid infested penis, then obviously it's not Wicked. So, yeah. what's going on, Fatality? Thank goodness it's Friday, right? Yeah, end of the fucking week. Relief. What? What the hell is this? Oh, Whole Foods? What the hell am I getting a Whole Foods ad for? That's a damn clone. Oh, is it? I don't know who to believe. I don't know if Twisted's fucking around or what it is. It's okay, Blood, Twisted, Russell, Fatality, any more? Fuck you. Oh, well, there you go. I know too well on exactly how uh, Waylon... But don't, uh, but don't find the days go by, uh, the days going quick. They do go pretty quick, at least to me they go quick. I mean, it seems like it'll be just morning and then you'll look at the time and already it's, it's like 9 o'clock at night, you know. Days go by pretty quick. What up, Candy? Twisted is playing. Oh, he's playing? Okay. Oops, was on the wrong count. You were on your wrong count. Hey, I twisted an H2K. It's a clone, Paco. Is it? Motherfucker, I don't know who to believe. Is that the aid infested fucking wicked, or is that not the aid infested wicked? There's one that's like, uh, what the fuck? Um, it's like someone was like barging in my place all of a sudden. What the fuck? Um, yeah, there's one that has like a like AIDS all over the dick and everything. Twisted ain't playing. Ah. Yes, it's the dick pic avatar. Hold up, because I don't know who to believe. Twisted fucks around. I know he fucks around. I'm going to look real quick. Hold up.
Yeah. Um, it's a dick pic. Okay, we're gonna find out. All right, give that a second. We'll find out. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. It is. It's not the right wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. I just had to see for myself because, you know, Twisted be, be playing. Yeah, that's not the right wicked. It's the aid infested wicked. Oh, well. I'm gonna assume that it's probably sweaty or some shit fucking around. It, it might be sweaty, you know? You didn't tell me it was Twisted that was saying it was the penis and then someone else said it was the penis. And I just wanted to see if it was the penis. What's going on, Mike? Check me the pack on don't fucking trust me. Hey, hey, Twisted. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just, you have that sense of humor that you fuck with people, and I don't know. I'm sitting here like, is he messing around or is he being serious? Because you're the type that always messes around on streams. I don't know if you're being serious. Uh, looking dick. Did you see your uh, clone avatar pick? Are you talking about mine? Um, I don't think I did. No, I don't think I caught it. Yeah, I don't know what it was, Russell. I didn't catch it. Um, this fucker just said, I'm a great dude, but nah, I don't trust him. <laughs> you're a cool dude as far as, like, you're not, uh, you're not drama full or anything like that. Uh, of course, I'm a drama queen. Um, but you're not drama full or anything. Um, but, you know, you mess around on streams. So... It's not that I, like I said, it's not that I don't trust you, Twisted. It's just, I just didn't know if you're messing around or not, man. That's not really, uh, the, the serious Twisted that I see. You know, it's always the joking around Twisted, so I never know what to believe. I think you're cool, peeps, Twisted, but don't trust me, bro. I understand what you mean. I'm busting your balls a bit, because I was right. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Laugh my ass off, Devious. Hey, Kendall. Well, now that we got that settled, go back to the, the, the... Oh, wait. All right, now we're good. Okay. Now we got that settled. Can't believe uh, one subscriber clone has so much power. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just depends on the person. You know, if you don't, if you don't, uh, if you don't double check to make sure it's that person, well, you're just gonna believe that it's that person. That's some dodgy knob, though. Yeah, that, that penis has like herpes and shit all over it. It, it is, it is a, it is a dick that if you saw, you'd be a little crazy to, uh, to, to be fucking around with. Oh, look, and sweaty comes in no longer after. What's going on, sweaty? I got the cops on these pervy mofos last night. The shit to say, I got the cops on these pervy mofos. Sup, chaps? Yeah, I said, what up to you, sweaty? I fucking knew it was you, sweaty. Just needs cutting off altogether. Sweaty comes in after. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does. He makes his appearance uh, uh, pretty well known. <clears throat> Hey, Blood, if you're still here, here's a here's a band I know you love, man. I like I like them, too. It's just I don't listen to them as much as uh, I used to. I kind of, like, drifted off to, to other bands that kind of uh, intrigued me, you know? I just woke up. LOL. Okay, sweaty. Uh-huh. I'll be back in, like, 20 uh, to 15 minutes. Well, that's kind of a little backwards, don't you think? 20 to 15 minutes? Usually doesn't it go, like, 15 to 20 minutes? Don't you usually say the less to the most, not most to the less? Yeah, Blood, if you're still here, man, yeah, here's a band that I know, uh, that you enjoy. <clears throat> I don't know if Blood's still here, because he hasn't commented in, uh, in a good minute. So I don't know if, uh, if Blood's still here or not. I 
I'm not sure how long I'll be taking a shower. 15 to 20 minutes to take a shower? Wow, you take a long ass time. Alcohol paranoia. Yeah. I wouldn't really know about paranoia there, man. Cause uh you know what when I when I do drink, I at least can uh know, you know, know my limits. I was just stopping by, about to take a nap. Have a good one. Alright, fatality. Respect to you, man. I appreciate it. Show us your mole. Mm, not today, midnight. Maybe try tomorrow. Rest up fatality for my stream tonight. Just kidding. I ain't streaming. Ken, don't forget to wash behind your ears. Yeah, see if it's sweaty knows the proper way to wash yourself. And if sweaty has to give you shower tips, well, I think that speaks for itself. Put the nickel on the donkey. Motherfucker. Yeah. Don't forget about that, fatality. Make sure to put the nickel on the donkey. I take long uh, I take long showers too. How do you think I have sexy chocolate skin? Oh, it's gotta be some secret, fatality. It's gotta be some secret. I'll be back in about 60 minutes to or five minutes. I gotta take a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Devious. Um I was at, uh I was everywhere. He bathes in Hershey's. He probably does. Hershey's or uh or uh like melts a bunch of uh, Milky Ways. But be right back. Thank you for your help on pick. Yeah, no problem, Ruthless. <clears throat> Anytime, man. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think Blood's here. I think Blood, uh... Oh, no, no, Blood said he had to go, um... He had to go do something, because Vamp was telling him. Don't forget to spread your butt cheeks and get a good scrub. Wash, I meant, uh... I missed H. All right. Cocoa butter, shea butter, and coconut oil mixed in one. Good remedies. I need a can of Dutch gold. Alcoholics are a very paranoid group of people. Yeah, it could be. It could be. He had to get the dishes done, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that was it. The dishes. There you go, uh, Twisted. He had to do the dishes because Vamp was, Vamp was telling him what to do. Peace out. Alright, take it easy, sweaty. I'm going, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, Katie, my peeps. We give each other shit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, you don't gotta tell that to me. I mean, I'm, I'm part of the... Part of fucking around with Candy and pissing her off. What's going on, Kevin? What are you doing, Kevin? I get more out on, paranoid on weed than booze. Oh, yeah. I, I, th I think that would be a good, uh, a, a good way to describe that one. Have a, have a good one, everyone. All right, Fatality, take it easy, man. Put the nickel in the donkey, have fun. All right, Lulu, what up, Kevin? Latest Fatality. Latest Fatality. H2K, bro. Yo, Donovan! How you doing, Kevin? I forgot to ask you that. Pardon my manners. How you doing, Kevin? Ah, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the very somewhat entertaining and somewhat weird looking and somewhat oddly strange, goofy looking motherfucker, Hippie. What up, Hippie? Yeah, Paco, don't be a rude bitch. Twisted, you know, th there are some times where, where your, homo your hormones take over, you know? And, and, and you gotta try to fix that shit, man, you know? 
you get pretty moody at times. All good. And you, I'm good, Kevin. I'm good, Kevin. If you notice, all the alcoholic streamers are very paranoid. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say all of them, but I guess you could say a good majority. How do you know they're alcoholics? Fuck stick, cheers. I'm, uh, I'm taking my monostat. Leave me alone. <sighs> Uh, yeah, yeah, twisted. In, in your case, it's uh, it's it's monostat, and it's a uh, a whole shit ton of tampons. Cause you know, I, I think it's that time of the month for you, twisted. You've been a little bitchy lately. It's that time of the month for twisted. Twisted, bro. And Lulu's still wondering how how uh, that dude knows that people are alcoholics. Well, I think of it like this. I think of it like this. If you drink excessively, you might be. I mean, not saying that you are, but you might be. Hey, motherfucker, I want chocolate and dick. I don't have either. Back up. Cramps, <laughs> Cramps are real. Yeah, that's how you know Twisted's on his uh, mood swing for the month. That's how you know Twisted's on the rag. What's going on, I Illuminati? How you doing, man? <clears throat> Just scoping out stuff as usual, man. That's cool. <clears throat> Hopefully you're having a good one, though, I. For whom the bell tolls. But yeah, that's how you know Twist is on the rag. Twist is all moody and shit, you know? <sighs> Take the mask off, you ain't the elephant man. You always say that at uh, Yamaha. Same old thing. And what did you say before Paco... And what did you say before, Paco? Your stream lagged. Oh, about the about the knowing that people are alcoholics. Well, I said if you if you drink excessively, you might be. I'm not saying that you are, but you might be. You know. What the fuck is up, Paco? What's going on, Crash? What is up, Crash? How you doing? He said he would uh, give me the dick, Lulu. But he's out of gas. Yeah, yeah. Twist is not willing to uh, to, to compensate for uh, for gas money to get to him for him to uh, get the D. So uh, yeah, so 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 no can do. Oh shit! Crash! Motherfucking crash in the building. Yep. How's it going, Lynn? How you doing? Oh, I get you, but people might just drink when they uh, stream. I know I do. That's courage. And LOL. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I think of it as as if you just get completely hammered every single time you uh, you stream, then I mean, it's a possibility. Not really a guarantee because we don't really know if they if they do it uh, off camera, you know. So. Could be. It's a possibility. It's a 50-50. Alright, there we go. Can be very entertaining, but I see a lot of misconceptions. Indeed. Chillin' chillin'. Sub twisted. You've giant still leaking? It is still leaking from the sounds of it, uh crash. His his mood swings are still there, so I would I would assume his 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 uh, vagina is still leaking. Gonna be uh, falling asleep. 
on my stream. Cough, cough. You're gonna be falling asleep on your stream. Falling asleep, falling asleep on your stream. God. Well, that should be entertaining. I never like understand like the people like fire up their streams, and uh, I guess it's like a weird trend. Um, you like fire up your stream at nighttime, and then like people watch you sleep. Ain't that like a little creepy? I, don't know. I thought it was creepy. I wouldn't really want to watch. I wouldn't really want people watching me sleep. I think that's a little weird. You asshole! I told you to go easy. I know, twisted. I'm just not a person that really uh, goes easy. You know. I thought you would know this by now. We had a a very uh, uh, what's the word I want to look for? I have I have a word I want to use, but I can't uh, can't think of it. A very platonic relationship, but I guess you didn't understand. What up, I? I'm always watching as well, bro. <laughs> he was gone like fucking 20 minutes ago, Devious. Oh, no, I said I'm not going to fall asleep. Oh, all I read was falling asleep. I was like, you're falling asleep? All right. Did he go dry twisted? I don't suggest what, uh, watching me sleep. I'm a chronic sleeping masturbator. I would get banned quick. My dreams consist of watching crash up on a... What's going on, straight balling? How you doing, man? Much respect. I'm fine, thank you, and you? I'm pretty good, Lynn. Chilling out, music and chat. You know, the usual, uh, the usual routine, you know. The usual routine. You know, Jack in the Box isn't paying me for these ads. And they really need to. And man, have a great weekend. It was so uh, rough. I cried myself to sleep that night while rocking. You have a nice bar, H2K. You're always watching. Yeah, that's totally fine. I I don't really uh, I don't really see it as a, a, a bad thing that, <laughs> that people uh, just observe and not really so much comment. I'm more of a, of a commenting myself, though. But people that just want to observe, fine with me, you know. I don't really see it as a, a, a bad thing, you know. If you want to observe and, and kind of um, just kind of see how someone's like without really talking to them first, more power to you. <clears throat> nice. In the corner. In the corner, I get you twisted. Up on a stripper pole is the rest of that statement. Oh, okay, up on a stripper pole, got you. What's going on, Red Dragon? How you doing? I only lurk in streams that don't make me moist. Wow. Well, we learned a lot more about Twisted today. Thank you, I. Wait, I said that backwards. Did you? I'm totally a lurker after I comment a few times. I don't care anymore. Yeah, pool table lady. Uh, I mean, I'm more of just a commenter myself. Like, I'll... Unless I'm, like, doing something else. And I'm not, uh, buying my system to, to write. Taking on people's stuff. But yeah, if I'm doing something else, I'll still listen to, uh, what people are saying. You know, I'll still keep that person's stream up. Because I was originally in there talking to them in the first place. Bad human... Fuck, I'm confused. Crash is here. Sometimes the comments get too much and go and go quick. They do. They do. I'm pretty good, Red Dragon. How about yourself, man? I like making song requests. Taking any? Uh, I mean, I could probably do one or two. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see what I uh, what I got. Hold up, real quick. Let me just see what I what I got going right now. Let me see if I can. Uh, give me a quick second. All right. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, I could do one or two pool table lady. I'm good, just chilling. Good to hear. Hopefully you're having a good day, Red Dragon. Back off my dick, Devious. He's mine. Oh shit, sorry. I slipped out. Chilling HK you. Well I really didn't, uh but yeah, get what you're saying. I typed the shit out that statement. Nothing, nowhere. Nothing, nowhere. Don't remind me. Or don't mind me. Nothing, nowhere. Don't mind me. Twitch would love the D. You can be able to read it. Let's try, uh... Let's try that. It's a little, still a little weird. I tried lowering down the brightness. The song is called I Don't Care Anymore, and it's by a band called Hell Yeah. Pretty much a lead singer from uh, uh, Mudvayne, if you know what that band is. And I believe the drummer from uh, uh, Pantera is in it as well, if I'm thinking correctly. That was the song request, Nothing Nowhere, is artist, Don't Mind Me is the name of the song. Oh, okay, alright, yeah, right after the song, uh, Pool Table Lady, I gotcha. Nice to you, Kay, I'm firing up the pit tonight. I'll never listen to the original song on the same way again. Yeah, I kind of like when when, uh, when metal bands actually take songs and then make uh, uh, remakes of them, because it, it could be a different kind of uh, a different kind of listening, you know, where where an original song could be more of a, a smooth sound. Um, you know, when metal covers come out, it brings a different kind of element, you know. This new generation is terrible. What's going on, BLM? I fucking love Mudvayne and hell yeah. Yeah, definitely. It sucked that Mudvayne had to split up though. That was upsetting because Mudvayne was a good band. Mudvayne is from Chicago, aren't they? I believe so. It's not bad actually. Stop sending me party invites. Laura said you got greasy hair. Okay. What's going on, Ryan? How you doing? Alright, I'll do your request, uh, pool table lady. I might need it again. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I don't mean to, to have you type it out again, but I might need it again. Um, I might need the song again. My favorite heavy metal band is Metallica. Yeah, Metallica's old school. You know, they're still, they're still doing, uh, tours and shit. So, you know, right on to those guys. Good young Paco. Hopefully you're doing pretty good, Ryan. What up, Papa Paco? <laughs> uh, what's going on, b -Lam? What up, Brian? Yeah, I don't, I don't mean to have you type it out again. I'm sorry, pool table lady. I know, I'm, I'm a prick. What can I say? I'm a prick. What can I say? What's going on, Cleveland? Cleveland? Cleveland boy, what's going on? How you doing? <clears throat> Just went on pool table later, real quick. <clears throat> How are you doing, Cleveland? You doing pretty good? <clears throat> H2K. What up, Paco? What up, Ryan? What up, Papa Paco? Good young Paco. Let's see if I can get this going. All right. What's going on, James? How you doing? I'm pretty good, man. I might have to find out uh, what Pool Table Lady's song was. Because I decided to be a prick and not even write it down. Cool stream. Respect. Absolutely, Red Dragon. I appreciate it, man. Crash, if you don't get into my party chat, I'm coming out of the playroom retirement and ready streaming on your 
In that in that case, uh, uh, Crash, maybe you shouldn't uh, get into his party. Maybe you shouldn't. Nothing, no, uh, nowhere, don't mind me. Okay, nothing. Nowhere. Don't mind me. All right. Here we go. Come on. There you go. Fucking ads, god damn it. What religion are the Japanese? I don't know. I guess every person that's Japanese has a different religion, so it's not just one religion. No problem, Pool Day Blady. I'm putting restraining water on you. Wait, I couldn't just call you fucker? Yeah, YouTube must have uh, blocked out the words. YouTube does all that shit. I don't have any words uh, uh, blocked or, or forbidden. Everything goes, you know? But YouTube probably blocked out the, the fucker. How's it going, Carl? Yeah, yeah, but YouTube did it. I know. I don't block out any any words. <clears throat> Play a song? I am playing a song. A song that Full Table Lady wanted to hear. There we go, much better. There we go. You can change that, Paco. Stop playing. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that, Twisted. There's nothing I can do about that, man. What's going on, RW? Good mate? Uh, you have a request? Okay, you might have to wait until pool table ladies is done, so that that way I don't have to have you repeat it like eight or nine times, you know? Because if you write it, I'm going to have to have you repeat it again to, to be able to write it down. Just wait until this song's over, RW, and then throw in your request, and then we'll do it like that. I can help you with it. I don't know if you... You just found them? Alright. RW? You sound a bit like my morning... My morning jacket? Never heard of them. Oh, boxing. What's going on, pig? Who the fuck does a 10 hour stream without talking? Someone's doing a 10 hour stream of not talking? With what Laura raging on you and Candy for? No idea, man. No idea. Great band. Yeah, I've never heard of them, Lulu. I've never heard of them. I've had coke, good shit. Oh, have you? Have you? Have you done a, a champ? Have you done a, a champagne supernova? Take it easy, everyone. Peace out, Paco. All right, Devious, take it easy, man. I'll check you out later. We'll, we'll hang out and uh, we'll talk later. So, guy, yeah, I don't know if you realize or not, but Croft runs out of shit to talk about, so he starts shit to stay relevant. Uh, yeah, Paco, Twisted Rage streams are boring, worse than Super Days. Yeah, I don't think I don't think uh, Twisted can really uh, go off on someone. I don't think he has it in him. I found this group because I've been listening to Lil Peep. <laughs> the shit you run into. Uh, and and she's back. Has he raised at you again though? No idea. No idea, Lulu. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to that whole thing to be honest. I mean. I didn't really pay attention to it. Oh, hell nah. Yeah, just on good shit now. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I didn't pay too much, uh, too much, uh, uh attention on, uh, on that whole, that whole thing. Nor did I really care too much about it either. So. Uh, Little Peep is really good too, even though it's uh, depressing. It's got good beats. Uh, that wasn't anything. It's just drunk. I'm gonna get drunk with you. Not really getting drunk, RW. So I don't know how you can get drunk with me when uh, I'm not even getting drunk in the first place. That old thing. Welcome back, Purple. How y'all doing today? I'm pretty good, A1. How about yourself?
Let's see. All right. Boom. So this is Phil from All That Remains. You're about to hear our cover of the Garth Brooks classic, The Thunder Rolls. Give it a thumbs up if you dig it, and thanks again for listening. What? We are. Yeah, that's some sweet ass shit. Real shit. Only cut once. At the moment, Bushlight, last you drink. Far Cry 5 is coming out end of March. Cool. All that remains. How was your shower? I've heard this song. I haven't. That was kind of cool how it did a transition though. How it said from uh, him saying that we're going to be listening to that song to actually that song coming up. Cool shit. I'll put it up a little bit because I kind of want to hear it. Thank you, Red, uh, Red Dragon. It was uh, good. Thanks for asking. It cut from Columbia. I like Scarlet Brooks back in the day. Yeah, Scarlet Brooks was a pretty good artist back in his uh, back in his prime. I could just watch some things on news and some chick gave birth, but didn't know she was pregnant. How do you not know? Uh. No idea, Lulu. No idea. And the thunder rolls. No idea. There's some weird ass shit on the news nowadays. There was a dude, uh, you wanna talk about weird, uh, instances? Actually? There was a dude. There was a dude that I read, uh, about on the news, I think it was like yesterday. I read on the news yeah, yesterday, there was a dude that um, went to a party in uh, in like another state, right? And he did the responsible thing, he got he got drunk and everything, and he wanted to do the responsible thing and he wanted to uh, uh, take like an Uber home, right? Um, so he called, he called the Uber uh, to get back home, and when he got back home, uh, I guess he fell asleep on, on the ride back home. And when he got home, uh, his his fare was $1,600. So he took uh, an Uber, I guess an Uber Deluxe, I think it was. An Uber Deluxe. And then uh, he was going from one state to back to New Jersey, where his, his house was. And it was a, a five-hour ride. And he paid sixteen hundred dollars. So Buzz is good. Honest Columbia real shit. Yeah man, never trust Uber. <laughs> Are you off school today, Ryan? That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When usually um to do that it would be about eight hundred, it'd be at least half of that. And he paid double that. Damn, expensive ass ride, right? Five hours in an Uber for sixteen hundred dollars. That person got paid pretty damn well. I don't pay attention to news. I don't really pay, pay, pay attention to news too much. Uh, a Red Dragon. Um, I don't really pay attention to to news that much, you know. Um, you know, so I don't really pay attention to all that stuff. You know, but I read that, and I'll read uh, a couple, like, couple things that spark interest, you know. And uh, I read that, and I thought that was kind of a little funny that he got caught like that, you know. Uh, to California, it's on YouTube. Oh, there's people that actually do trips, yeah. There's people that actually um, hook up a camera to their car, and they do road trips. 
they do road trips um, from state to state, you know, for for work or whatever it is. But they'll actually record the whole trip, but then they'll do it in uh, in fast time. Of course, not in real time because that would take you know way too fucking long. But they do it in fast time. They try to shorten down to like an hour or like 45 minutes. So I got nostrils like Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. I think it's like Planet of the Apes. Uh, news makes me sad. My mom's like, you need the news. Yeah, the news is just, I think it's a bunch of bullshit nowadays. The news ain't really anything really to watch nowadays. What's going on, Diva? Road trips with Uber, though? No, 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 no. I'm talking about, like, actually in their car. They're just, you know, road trip type. Take care, everybody. All right, Ryan, take it easy. The news always has bad news. Something's always going on somewhere. Absolutely. Across the country in an Uber? I don't think that's too common of a thing. Not across country. I said they'll go from state to state. Unless I did say country. But I'm pretty sure I said state. Take it easy, Ryan. I'm getting fucking tired of this damn mask. Are we slipping off? And it wants to fucking keep slipping off. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, cool, dude. People are always dying on the news. There's always, like, some shooting or some shit going on, right? Like, stabbing. Um, crazy thing is, um, there was, uh, an update on, um, beginning of February. Yeah, beginning of February, there was a, a chick that used to work, um, with my mother. You know, at, at her old job. And, uh, beginning of February, um, beginning of February... She uh, she was at a, a nail salon, and some random dude walked into that nail salon and stabbed her to death. And that started at the beginning of uh, February, and here we are now beginning of March, and they've got a videotape now of the guy actually walking into the salon. Um, so they have his face and everything, but they can't. They're like out of like at a at a um, a dead end of uh, you know where to go. So now it's like. You know, they have the surveillance camera on uh, the news and everything, and they're wanting people to help um, find the guy. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, she got stabbed to death. I lost my virginity at the age of 14. <laughs> Way to go, b -Lam. You know, I'm the one who accused of fingering my cats. Ah, uh, well. Okay. I don't even know you were accused of fingering your cats in the first place, but thanks for telling me that. Lost my virginity. Cheers, Bucko. What's going on? Mr. Russell? Well, Russell, you've been here. Why am I saying fucking what's up to you? You've already been here. That's crazy. People suck. That's horrible. You should be cheers. They deserve it. I question everything. Cheap cunts. <clears throat> What's going on, Quaddy? Didn't even know you were in here. Uh, dudes are nuts. Yeah, some people are fucking loony, right? Never have done. Fuck trolls. Um. <clears throat> what was I gonna say? Oh. That's that's the thing is yeah people are, are are fucking crazy you know you see so many people getting stabbed and and, and shot and shit like that all over the news because that's obviously what the news thrives off of they thrive off of uh, just very you know violent acts because that's how they they kind that's how they kind of you know stay stay you know up and running is is thriving off stories like that thriving off you know embarrassing others and shit like that it could be like a little situation the news can make it such a big thing that you wouldn't believe. You know, they can make it such a, a huge, um, a huge ordeal, you wouldn't believe it. Thank you, Carl. I, uh, I appreciate that, man. My God, Becky, this Friday is going... Becky? This Friday's going slow. Fuck at work. I wish she would get busy already. Humans are evil. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people just need help. But the crazy thing about that is... Is they're trying to investigate was was the lady that uh, was targeted 
was it targeted for a certain reason? Like, was there an actual, like, vendetta against her? Or was it just a random kind of she was at the wrong place wrong time type of ordeal you know but uh it's it's sad it's especially sad when you think about it because she had two little boys and all she's doing is you know going and getting her nails done like some women do and you end up and you get fucking stabbed and you have two little boys that now you know have to kind of go through life without a, a mother there that's a little that's a little bit of a of a sad thing to to think about, you know? Just because someone was fucking off their rocker and decided to to kill their mother, you know? Crazy. Spreading night. Playing through your life. Where in the United States are you? I'm Newcastle, England. Uh, I'm in Arizona, man. I'm in Arizona. I mean, anyone being killed is awful, but random attacks are so bad. Newcastle, Delaware. What's going on, Ken? Maybe I could win this time. Damn, people are messed up. Yeah, that's that's the sad thing is. It's bad enough when people just get killed and they don't have really uh, kids involved. But it's, it's more sad when you think about it as now our two little boys have to grow up and their mother that's supposed to raise them and, and shit is now dead. You know, because of just because of uh, some crazy ass motherfucker, right? Cool, only been to New York City. Yeah, that's where I'm originally from, uh, Carl, is, uh, is New York, but yeah, I live out in uh, Arizona. I've lived out in Arizona for years, so, you know. Loved it. It said that people get killed by guns every day, but the government doesn't do anything about it. Of course not. But but it's it's a struggle though, uh, Red Dragon, because you think of it as, um, I mean, if if you take away guns, if you take away guns, um, then it's it's more or less like guns are put into place for like self defense type of thing, you know. But if you completely take them out, it, it could solve a lot of crimes. But then again, you know, you take away guns, someone's just gonna, you know, if, if someone wants to kill someone bad enough, they're just gonna kill them with a fucking a knife. What are you gonna do? Take away knives? And then what? They're gonna kill people with fucking screwdrivers? I mean, what? Do you, I mean, what can you really do if you think about it? You know, if you take away something, you would have to really take away anything that could be known as a weapon. And there's shit ton of objects that could be used as a weapon. So what are you gonna do, just take all those things away? I mean, people kill each other with fucking screwdrivers all the time. You know? People get killed with knives, fucking screwdrivers, uh, guns, you know? Um, anything. Just anything you can think of. Hell, you could probably kill someone with a fucking tire iron. I mean, you know, they're, what are you gonna do, take all those things away? Just because they're, they're able to kill somebody? You know? Went down Central Park on night. Went down Central Park on night, pussy. What? Let me see if I can get this working. No idea what you're talking about, Carl. I'm a little lost on that. Never fucking lie to me. Um, just don't give crazy people guns. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, yeah, that claim, of course. But you think of it as Red Dragon. Not every single person is gonna be, you know, um, crazy. You know, you, you think of it as to get to get guns. 
there's uh, there's some sort of uh, some some form of uh, evaluation or some sort of like you know something there to ensure you know background checks stuff like that and not every single person that's crazy is gonna have you know felonies um you you think of it as not every single person that's gonna want to get a, a gun is gonna have you know felons and and misdemeanors and all this shit all over their record that could be seen anybody could just have a clean record but still be mentally fucked up you know so that that's kind of the the counterclaim that i'm kind of making of what you're saying is not every single person that gets a background is going to have all this stuff that's going to be a warning sign hell the 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 people that you least expect would do something like that are probably the most likely you know and uh that's kind of uh that's kind of how it works is that things just work that way there we go <clears throat> or even push someone to a cliff to kill them no weapon needed well yeah you can do it anyway ray you can do it anyway man but how you doing ray i see i'm off to eat my chinese i'm off to eat my chinese back Act, act, actor? What? <laughs> Hello, Paco mate. Greetings from. Shout out to Australia. Hopefully, you're, uh. I think it's like what? It's like, it's like nighttime in Australia or some shit, right? Isn't it? It's like nighttime in Australia. Blackstone Cherry, nice. Hell yeah, what's going on, Relic? How you doing, man? Back. After. Oh, stupid phone. I was like, shit, I'm confused. Need to make second nostril feel like other one. Is that Metallica? No, Blackstone Cherry. Relic knows his, his, his bands. If you want to know a band, ask Relic. Relic knows fucking every single band. But what's going on, Relic? How you doing, man? Much respect to you, Relic. Hopefully you're having a good day, man. It's 6.10 a.m. Oh, it's morning time tomorrow. So it's Saturday over there, I think. Hopefully I'm getting my time zones right. 6.10. Okay, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Hopefully I'm getting my time zones right. Hopefully I'm not, like, butchering the shit out of it, you know? <clears throat> Let me see. What time is it over here? It's, uh, 12.11 over here. Cause I know, I know the, the time difference, excuse me, the time difference is astronomical, you know, from where I'm at in Australia, you know, crazy, 6.10 in the morning, fuck. <laughs> yeah, anyway, how you doing, Aussie? Hopefully you're having a good one, man. Hopefully uh, your, your day is going pretty good, man. You know, salute to you. Thank you for taking time to, to come into the stream and, uh, and check me out and come and hang out for a little bit. Or even if it's a, it's just to come in and, and say what up type of thing. Um, you know, I'm still much appreciated, man. We're 7.10 p.m. Yeah, you guys are nighttime right now, Carl. 2.11 here in Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Canada, I can keep up with their time zone, the Red Dragon. I can't keep up with, like, Australia and, you know, like, far out. You know, I can't keep up with that. That's fucking ridiculous, you know? You want to be cro uh, a crofty? Who? Here, 812. What's going on, Andrew? Yeah, I'm going to skip that. There we go. I think it's 8.46, mon uh, Monday in Australia. 
I don't think it's that far ahead, bro. Like, I think they're in the future, but they're not that far in the future. Oh, man. But anyway, Relic, hopefully you're having a good one, man. Hopefully your evening's going pretty good, because I know you're in New York. Um, and it's evening time over there. It's like 3, 3, 13, something like that. So hopefully your, your evening's going pretty good. Or 2, 2, 13, 3, 13, one of those two. I think it's still daylight savings is still in effect, so about like a little over 2 o'clock. It's Saturday today here in Australia. Yeah, it's Saturday. There you go. I know they're a day ahead of us. It's Saturday. Yeah, I know. I knew they were a day ahead of us. Because when he said it was over 6 o'clock in the morning, I knew it was Saturday. Yeah, Relic's like way far into the future. What's going on, 9th? How you doing, man? Respect. Salute to you, man. Hopefully you're having a good uh, evening. I believe so. Evening. Depending on where you're at. I'm just going to say evening because I'm just going to assume evening. You suck. It's debatable. It's debatable, Steven. Yep, having a good one. No work. Big snowstorm. Oh, you guys are having a snowstorm out there. Yeah, fuck. And never think twice. I'm good. How's your day? It's going pretty good, Aussie. I'm doing pretty good, though, man. East side USA is, uh, east side United States is five hours behind UK. Six, Carl. That's what I said when your mom didn't deep throat. Eleven fifteen a.m. Here in Cali. Looking like Laura there, Paco. Yeah. <clears throat> she suck. No idea if you're talking to me, Andrew, or if you're talking to, to Steven up there. Well, it depends on uh, their time zone. Yeah. Yeah, depending on, on uh, where in the United States you're at, depends on time zone. Oh, Steven? Okay, I didn't know if you were talking to me, Andrew. I was like, okay. Roll with the punch type thing. I was like, all right, whatever. Still love New York City. New York City, uh, it, it's cool. It's it's cool to visit and it kind of... Um, you know, take like vacation and kind of see because it's one of the, the landmarks, you know. Um, but holy hell to live there. Like, to live there? Nah. I wouldn't want to live in this city. I'm more of a person that, that doesn't really like living where it's really, really, really crowded, you know. I'm more of a person that kind of likes to, to live in a place where it's pretty, pretty quiet for the most part. And it's not, you know, chaotic. Yeah, the city's way too uh, chaotic. You know, it's a landmark. There's fucking tourists everywhere. Um, you know. Yeah, too much traffic. There's another one. Ninth. Too much traffic. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. Only I never uh, like was uh, Ground Zero. Oh, yeah, Ground Zero. That's a good uh, That's a good spot to check out for a lot of tourists when you go is, uh, is Ground Zero. <clears throat> Yeah, a lot of people go there because, like I said, it's it's a it's a huge landmark of the United States. People go there to kind of just see what the what kind of like the hype is and and everything. And I wouldn't really say the New York City is really a hype, though. I mean, if you ask me, I think it's overhyped. You know? Um, oh, you never liked Ground Zero. Um, I think it's just overhyped. I think the city's not really as as great as you know. Um, as it's portrayed, you know. Respect to you from Australia. Absolutely, Aussie. Salute to you, man. 
Never liked Ground Zero. Yeah, the city's just... It's just, it's just one of those kind of things. Um... You know, it's it's one of those things where it's just, you know, you go, you see it, and it's kind of like off the bucket list, you know, you kind of just go, you know, oh yeah, I went to New York City now, you know, check, you know, you experienced 9-11, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, crazy place to, to visit because, you know, um, it's like, like Relic said, it's a pretty, it's a pretty depressing uh area to, to, to see and then to kind of be told what happened and, and and to actually see it for yourself not see it like on TV or on the internet or whatever and actually physically you know uh, uh, see it, it it's a whole different uh, experience you know I'm stoned well there you go Andrew they go just for Statue of Liberty that's what most people go for Statue of Liberty uh, that's what most people go for it's just to check that out because that's like, you know, uh, a big pinpoint, a big thing of, of going to New York is you see the, the Statue of Liberty. You get to go on the boat and, you know, you pass by it and they're like, oh yeah, there's the Statue of Liberty. It's like, okay, well, great. What's going on, NorCal? That is a trippy uh, a math, bro. Thank you. And I appreciate it. Like it, NorCal. I watched so many documentaries on 9-11, so sad. Yeah. It's not. It's not a good event. It's not. Uh, it's not something that uh, a lot of people that lost relatives to, or even friends to, really want to uh, relive or, or, or talk about or anything. You know, very touchy subject. Madison Square Garden, and Hell's Kitchen. Madison Square Garden is a, is a pretty good arena. So many events held there. You know, a lot of history of Madison, Madison Square Garden when MSG... I'm just going to call it MSG. I'm not going to call it no Madison Square Garden. I'm going to call it MSG. I always watched the Alcatraz Prison uh, tour in, in California. House Kitchen is the best. Hey, fuckstick. Oh, she's using hippies lines now. Right, Lulu? What's going on, uh, Brownie? How you doing? How's it going, Brownie? How you doing? One thing I did to... The rest of the time... Oh, it was. Oh, it was Times Square, an empire. What are you, an idiot sandwich? Yeah, Gordon Ramsay is... Gordon Ramsay's a, a, a pretty entertaining dude to watch. Hell's Kitchen is good, but I like... Uh, I'm more like uh, Kitchen Nightmares. That's more of the type of uh, show I watch. Hell's Kitchen's funny. I mean, it has its, it has its moments. But Kitchen Nightmare is just... More of, more of the type of style I like to watch, you know? Where it's him kind of going off uh, about people's uh, stuff on their menu, you know. We got the Hollywood here in California for tourists. What's Alcatraz? Alcatraz is a is a notorious prison. Uh, Aussie, you know, famous uh, mobsters have went to Alcatraz. It's pretty much it's it's another landmark, but it's in California, and it's like kind of um deserted it's by itself it's not really connected to anything it's more deserted on its own kind of little platform you know um and you're pretty much isolated from the outside world completely like if you look outside the windows you don't see anything really it, it's complete and utter isolation of a prison but a lot of notorious people have went to alcatraz so it's a landmark you know because of those people you look blazed. I just have a natural uh, uh, looking high. That's why maybe that's why I wear glasses, Feather. I look like I'm fucking high, but I'm not. I'm all good, man. Anything with him, it is amazing. Kitchen Nightmare, awesome. Wish I seen Bronx. Yeah, Al Capone went there. I know um, the original Machine Gun Kelly went there. Not the rapper, but the one that uh, he took his name from. I'm hoping to do a ghost hunt in Alcatraz. Didn't he? Didn't he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Al Capone, yeah, went to Alcatraz. I know, uh, like I said, the, the original Machine Gun Kelly 
um, the mobster, um, went to Alcatraz as well. It's a prison in San Francisco, only surrounded by water, hard to escape from. It, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're pretty much isolated. You're not connected to any land. It's just water. It's in its own little platform on on water. Oh no no, you're a good feather. It's not like you like you insulted me, man. I thought it was actually funny. You thought I was blaze. I just have a natural. <laughs> I just have like a natural way of looking like I'm high. I guess I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, man. Rather the uh, oh no uh, tourist area. Yeah, you're all good. You're all good, Feather. No worries, man. Did you hear about Croc talking, uh, taking the L out uh, yesterday? Uh, well, after I did my, my, uh, my game stream, uh, streamer, didn't really care after. I didn't really pay attention. I kind of just went on with my day, you know? It's more or less what it is. I went on with my day after uh, I did my game stream. Paco is proper. <laughs> You're clearly the better man. Well, yeah, I, I guess so. I guess a streamer, I don't really care about it, you know? It's more of the fact of, whatever, you know? I kinda just have better things to do. So, you're cool, what games do you play? Um, let's see, what games do I play? Let's see. You got, uh, Dead by Daylight. You got... Like, when people say taking an L uh, relic, it's it's more or less like taking a loss. It's what the new generation uses. You got, uh, Friday the, uh, I would say Friday the 13th. UFC 3. Friday the 13th, there you go. Mm. World War 2. Uh, Dying Light. UFC 2. Uh, not gonna really worry about that game. Battlefield Hardline. GTA 5. You know, Black Ops 2. You know, most of the Call of Duties I have that came out on the PS4. Um, yeah, most of them I, I have. So. He had a lot to say about you and Candy, especially Candy. Yeah. Roger that. I'm old. <laughs> I must be two. Uh, I must be two. Never heard of this L. Yeah. It's what the new generation uses. Like, taking an L is like you, you loss. I don't do uh, COD games, especially Infinite. Yeah, I just have them because they were the new Call of Duty and I got them around the time they came out. You should try Assassin's Creed Origin. After Brotherhood, uh, Andrew, I kind of gave up on the Assassin's Creed thing. It got too repetitive for me. And, and to me, it kind of got a little boring with Assassin's Creed and how repetitive the, the stuff got. You know, Assassin's Creed 1, that was back in, like, 360 and, and, and PS3 and stuff. That was cool. Number 2 was cool. You know? And then, like, after Brotherhood, it kind of just got, like, the same routine over and over and over again. Dead by Daylight is a great game. I love Dead by Daylight, uh, Relic. Paco does, true. 9mm. 9mm, bye. <laughs> okay. God, can we just keep it old school, people? I can't keep up. <laughs> yeah. Fucking things today don't want to stay on. Pieces of shit. Paco, Sydney Chocolate Cafe, Siege, was a sad time here in Australia, but we don't get shooting too much. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, with, with certain countries, like, there's there's a little bit of strict uh, uh, gun rules, isn't there? I need, like, 12 shots of rum, right? Meow, dang it. Well, go get some rum, then. Done. 
Infinite what the fuck was that some kind of rush game? It's just shit. Without old school, there'd be no new school. Remember that. I'm not even really arguing with the old school, new school uh, argument. You know. As long as I can at least understand what people are saying, that's all I care about. What's going on, uh, question marks? I'm just gonna call you question marks. I have Dead by Daylight. Yeah, it's a good game, it's a good game. It's shit. What, what exactly is, uh, shit quality? I'm at work for six more hours, though. Oh, okay, I thought you were at home. I thought you were at home, uh, pool table lady. Then you're like, I need shots. I'm like, go, go get shots, then. What the hell? Where'd the camera go on? There we go. Yeah, you're at you're at work for six more hours. You can do a pool table, lady. It's okay. You could you could strengthen through it. It's gonna be all right. Are they doing a remake of Mono, uh, Modern Warfare 2? I would hope so, Carl. I would hope so. They did a remake of COD 4, and that was kind of cool, you know. But Modern Warfare 2 would be a lot better. Just do a couple tweaks to it. Um, take out a uh, one-man army. Take that shit out. And then I think you take that out, and maybe like a couple other things I can't think about at the time right now. And and the remake of Modern Warfare 2 would be perfect. Six hours, Bree? Damn, seems like forever, right? It does. Yes, I need to invest in Dead by Daylight. Death, Dead by Daylight's awesome. Lulu, you do need to invest in that. Laura, it's shit. Oh, Laura, shit. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> you just agreed. Yeah. It's so boring. Yes, bro, like, longest six hours ever. Okay, gonna go do my thing. I'll be back. She's still on. <clears throat> yeah, especially when you have, like, no real work to do. Like, you're not moving around a whole lot, pool table lady, and you're not really doing, like, a whole lot as far as working. Six hours takes a long-ass time. I heard they were making Black Ops 1 and 2. Black Ops 1 would be pretty cool. Black Ops 2, not so much. Black Ops 1 would be pretty good. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 would be a good remake. And I think those are the only two real Call of Duties that I liked. Like, I was hardcore into, you know? Hello from Spain. How's it going? Respect goes out to Spain. Hopefully you're doing pretty good, ESP. We have gun control here in Australia, but it's not like USA guns. Okay, I gotcha. Black Ops 2, they were making zombies. In the blackest moments of the dying world. Yeah, I bring baby with me. Dude, he keeps me busy until he's sleeping like he is now. Uh, you know, the, that's the funny thing, uh, pool table lady. It seems like when you're at home and you have kids, you want them sleeping so you kind of do your own thing. And then uh, you take them to work and you want them awake to keep you busy and they're sleeping. Surely no guns in UK. Be right back. Piss time. Alright. Exactly. Splinter no, what is going on man? What have you become? How you doing, Splinter? What I really want to know is, how's it going on your neck of the woods? You know I gotta pull that out on you, Splinter. <laughs> what about for hunting, Lulu? No guns? They said they are making, they're going to remake a rem, uh, make a remake of Modern Warfare 2. Well, I hope they do, Red Dragon. That'd be kind of cool. I'd be excited for that if they, like I said, if they take out one man army. Um, a couple other things if they take out, because I know there was some uh, overpowered stuff in, in Modern Warfare 2 that uh, a lot of people were complaining about.
But if they take those things out, I think it'd be good. Like, One Man Army, right off the top of my head, is one of the things that I know was uh, a big complaint to people because of just how easy it was to, to have, like, infinite uh, grenades to shoot out of a grenade launcher, you know? Hunting, uh, you can, if you have a hunter's license, it's not like the USA hunting. Do well, man. You are doing well. It's going pretty good, Splinter. No complaints at all, man. Roger that. I've deer hunted and pigeon hunted. It's fun. Gotta love this Pandora radio station. Playing all this WWE music. Pigeon shooting, sorry. Pigeon shooting? Yeah, I don't know too much about hunting, to be honest. Um, cause, like, I didn't even know, like, pigeon shooting was a real thing. <clears throat> kind of weird, I know, kind of weird to think that, uh, you know, if people even do even eat pigeons. I hunt mushrooms more my speed. <laughs> touche, Splinter, touche. What the fuck? Pigeon shooting? I didn't even know that was a thing, Red Dragon. I'm, I'm in the same boat as you, man. I didn't even know that was a real thing. Play pigeon. Yeah, like I said, I didn't even know pigeon uh, hunting or pigeon shooting was a real thing. Yeah, clay pigeon, peasant shooting, etc. Do you think YouTube stream has got to a point it can't return? <sighs> well, Carl. No, no, not really. I think uh, I think YouTube streaming, streaming off YouTube, is uh, it just has like a lot, a lot of downfalls. But it's kind of like it's kind of like potholes if you think about it. You know, you have potholes, and obviously you just cover potholes, and it pretty much fixes it. If they're able to fix certain things, which they are cracking down on, they're they're enforcing new rules. In uh, YouTube, from what I've heard, um, you know, if they enforce those rules and kind of uh, start cracking down and start monitorizing some of this, uh, some of the streams and stuff like that, and they have one person or a couple people individually divided to, you know, monitor streams and, and make sure that everything's running the way that it should and there's no, you know, uh, racial comments or anything like that, I think it'll be all right. You know, I think that's a big, big majority of what's going on in YouTube uh, streams is a whole bunch of, uh, you know, racial shit thrown out, a whole bunch of, um, you know, just a whole bunch of really uh, shitty crap thrown out in, in YouTube streams. And they don't really have anybody to actually see that. You always have to constantly, like, call them and, and inform them about it for them to look into it. They don't have anybody that just is there to kind of make sure everything's going the way that it should go. If they fix that and they're able to, to kind of come up with a plan for that, it could actually work out on YouTube, could, uh, can, can actually work pretty well. Would you like to go to Australia? Fuck yeah, Aussie night. Australia would be cool to go to. Can't shoot peasants, Paco. Oh, peasants. Peasants. I said peasants. Oh well. Shoot peasants too, fuck it. Birmingham, England. Shout out to Birmingham of England. They need to sort it really out. They do, they do. Clay pigeons are launched in the air to shoot. I mean, you could shoot a, a, a peasant if you want an eight by four room for life. So people can't lose a kill. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Hold on a 
So people lose accounts because of trolls. Well, I wouldn't really say people lose accounts because of trolls. I would more or less say it's people lose, uh, people just lose interest in streaming on YouTube because of trolls. Not really losing accounts, but more of just losing interest, you know? I think that's more or less what it is. <clears throat> I'll be back in just a second, you guys. I've had so many bands for fuck all. Yeah. Well, you guys, we're right back. I'm a dick, but fuck man, you see me on stream. Oh, I've had so many bands for fuck all. I know I'm a dick, but I, uh, but I need to see me on stream. Have I seen you on stream, Carl? I might have. I don't recall the name too much, and that's that's uh, that's kind of the thing is, um, I don't really recognize the name too much. Carl. Alright, uh, stop ringing a bell. Why was you banned? If you come to Australia, what would you do for the first thing when you come here? <sighs> Honestly, if I give you a straight ass answer, you'll probably laugh. Um, honestly, my dumb ass would probably like wanna <laughs> wanna get kicked by like a kangaroo or some shit. <laughs> Cause I get pissed. There's your answer. Uh, what's going on, J. Ryan? How you doing? Yes, I called the cat fiddler. What the fuck? Yeah, still not ringing a bell, Carl. I'd have to actually probably see your stream. What do you, uh, what do you usually call your stream, like, uh, as far as, like, title? Do you have, like, a certain, uh, title you use for your streams? Because I might recognize it by that. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, right? I mean, if, if, if that's, if that's your thing. I mean, I'm not saying it is, but, you know, if that's your thing, then cool, man. Embrace it, I guess. What's going on, Mid Pain? How you doing, man? Salute to you. I might have seen you, Carl. I'll probably have to see you to, to recognize. Papa wants to get kicked by that, uh... That jacked up kangaroo. <laughs> nah, nah, bro. Like, I would think of it as, um... What's that movie that had that kangaroo in it? And it had, uh... I've got the two actors. Um, what's that movie that had the kangaroo in it? Uh, Kangaroo Jack, that's it. If you remember that movie, I could picture me going to Australia and get kicked by a kangaroo like that. I remember there was a lot of, there was a lot of on, on Ustream. Yeah, that was quite a bit. 
<clears throat> Kangaroos are hench. Kangaroos are pretty, pretty fucking strong from what I understand, but I don't know why. I think that would just be a, 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 a thing off the bucket list to do is just get kicked by a fucking kangaroo. Oh, trolls? Yeah, trolls are gonna go anywhere, really. Unless there's a site that completely and utterly cracks down on on um, on a chat room or whatever, on, on a chat log, then there are always going to be trolls, you know? So. So they're going to be anywhere you ever go, uh, Red Dragon. They got six packs. I mean, yeah, they're nothing to fuck with. But that's why I say, my crazy ass would probably want to get like kicked by a kangaroo, and I, I'm, I feel like I'm crazy for saying it like that, but, you know, in, in a weird way, I am a little crazy for thinking like that. I use title, I never is I was politically correct. Oh, you're the you're the dude that's usually sitting on the on the couch, Carl. Uh I know who you are. You're the dude that usually uh sits on the couch. I've seen you before, I've seen you before. Just added that to my bucket list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, Relic, you gotta get kicked by a kangaroo and add that to the bucket list. If you don't get kicked by a kangaroo, you're not living. You gotta, you gotta get kicked by a kangaroo to get that off the bucket list. Nothing says living like getting kicked by kangaroos, huh? That's me with a rose picture and two cats. I watched a video on YouTube that a person punched a kangaroo so he could protect his dog from it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Aussie, that's what they're talking about. The jacked up kangaroo, yeah. That's what they're talking about. I'd get kicked by one of those jacked up kangaroos. Kangaroos are oversized, oversized ra uh, rats. Carl fingered his cat on stream. True story. That video was funny as fuck. It is silence, isn't it? What's going on, silence? How you doing? That video was hilarious when I saw that dude like bitch slap that kangaroo, and and the fact that he just looked at him and didn't attack him was crazy. I saw that Aussie night. Yeah, that was some funny ass shit. But yeah, that's what they're talking about, Aussie. If I got kicked by a kangaroo, I'd probably get kicked by that one. That buff ass motherfucker. He straight jabbed that. <laughs> he right hooked that <laughs> that roo. Yeah, he hit him with like a boxing hook. How's it going, man? How you doing? I'm sorry. I wasn't good enough. Masupial. I'm the one who smashed my head off the floor. Yeah, Carl, I think I've seen you. I've seen you, man. I think I've seen you. I know I failed you. I do it too, Paco. Punch that kangaroo. Uh oh, please, Aussie. You gotta record that one day. You gotta record you punching a kangaroo. I'll put that shit on my stream for everybody to see. You shouldn't smash your head on the floor, Carl. 
Obviously that kangaroo turns you around and gives you what for. But that's what made that shit funny was when that dude punched that kangaroo. You would think that a fucking kangaroo with how powerful they are would attack you full blast. That dude hit that fucker and he just looked at him. That that's some that's some true gangster shit, man. When you could punch a kangaroo in the fucking face and and just walk off. He pretty much kind of like like ran off and that kangaroo just looked at him like, "What the hell?" But then there's a continuation of that video. And it's the kangaroo going to that dude's house and like banging on his window. It's fucking hilarious. I don't know if anyone's seen the continuation of that video. Surprised that kangaroo would just stand there, right? That's what I'm saying. But there's a continuation where that kangaroo actually went to that dude's, uh, he found out where he lived and was at his window, like banging on his window. Now that's some funny shit. I remember everything. That kangaroo looks surprised as fuck. Wear a good on good Columbia Coke, need the other nostril. The kangaroo looks surprised as fuck. He did, Relic, he did. When he got when he got slapped or punched, I think it was punched, yeah. When he got punched, he looked like he was completely shocked that that dude really put his hands on him like that. Would you know the pain? Cause I remember. Oh, you gotta fill up your other nostril with, with coke. All right, Carl. <laughs> we remember. <laughs> I would love for someone to, to try to like one up that guy, you know? Like see that video? And try to like one up that guy and punch uh, like another animal, like another wild ass animal in the face. Could you imagine that? Just like, oh yeah, you could punch a kangaroo. Hey, come check this out. Some dude like films him punching a, a fucking like a bear in the face. Oh god. I like that video. Kangaroo went to the dude's house. I was laughing so hard. Yeah, he found out where he lived and was banging on his window. That kangaroo wanted to beat his ass. If kangaroos could talk, we'd love to hear what he said. You ever see the edited uh uh? You ever see the edited version of that uh, uh relic? It's like this dude doing a voiceover of that video. And then uh, when he gets punched, the guy's like, what the hell, what was that for? You know? And then there's some guy like voicing the, 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 the guy that protected his dog. Oh no, you didn't see it? Oh, I'll put that shit on in a second, give me a second. Did you see the video of the kangaroo beat this dude, uh, dude's dog and the owner runs up and punches the kangaroo right in the, in the face? Lulu. 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 Lulu.
Lulu was on a beer run, a bathroom break. Wine break, sorry. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. What up, Aaron? How's it going, fake Kelly girl? How you doing? Grateful Dead or the Hateful Heads? I was looking at Lulu like that because we're sitting here talking about that video. Um, you know, we're sitting here talking about the kangaroo that, that you know, got punched because that dude was defending his dog. And we're sitting here talking about it for like 15 minutes. And then Lulu wants to come in out of nowhere and go, did you see that video of the, the dude punching the dude's kangaroo for the dog? Oh, man. Fuck's sake, me phone died. <laughs> I feel like I should be playing this song. So did anyone see it then? Bow. It's going on punch throat. <laughs> he said bow, like an actual punch throat. That's why Aussies don't film anything. Right after, uh, hold on. I got a quick, I got a quick. Right after Lulu said that, I swear I should have just played this song while I was staring at the camera. Hold up. Limited photo storage. Pixel 2. Right when Lulu said that, I should have just played this song and looked at the camera. You fucked up and you're an idiot song.
Come on, you like this song, Lulu. You just admitted you like this song. Yeah, I remember this song actually from Gears of War 2. I know exactly what uh, trailer you're talking about, uh, Major. How's it going, uh, Alvira? How you doing? Lulu, you said you liked this song. Nothing but playroom lovings. Alright. Heard this song on a documentary about a missing girl in woods. Really? Oh. Howdy. What's going on, Stormfire? This song is my life. <laughs> Freddy the FBI. <laughs> oh, fuck. Salute. So we were talking about dude punches kangaroo video. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, Stormfire, yeah, you're in Australia too. Yeah. You see it? Blue chains and all day. Is it already Halloween? Not yet, Courtney. Not yet. But hell, every single day is Halloween to me, so maybe. Sure, I know. I'm good all day. Just chilling. I'm glad that everybody's having a pretty good day. Hopefully everybody's day is going good. But I'm glad that so far everybody's saying that their day is going pretty good. So. I'm good all day. Just chilling. How are you? I just purchased the new Justice League movie. It's fantastic. Party, party time. Excellent. It's Friday, at least. Thank God it's Friday. Fuck. See how my day is when I wake up.
No, no, you're not gonna do this to me. There you go. Saturday morning here. Yeah, yeah you're, uh, you and Australia are like in the future, uh, Joker. Fish fry or fried eggs? Fry fried eggs. Happy Saturday. Hey, don't say fuck. 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 Don't say that. Fuck it. Exactly. I shall not be censored. God damn it, I did it again. I said fuck. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, isn't there like some uh, new rule with YouTube like you can't cuss or some shit? Something like that, right? I know it's like a rule that they put down. I think they put like a new rule that you can't uh, you can't cuss now. I think that's what YouTube did. Something like you can't cuss now. Well, in that case, Freddy, I uh, think you might get banned, bro, because you just said. Uh, you just had a cuss word. Get that Tourette's looked at. No fucking cussing. I say it all the time and don't get banned. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, Joker. I do it all the time, too. They still haven't taken me out. But I think it's like a new enforced rule. I don't know how true it is though. It might it might just be a, a myth. I don't know. I just heard it's like some new enforced rule that they put down. God There we go. Got that going. Now we're good. Still fighting about that? Do you hate bullshitters? Uh, I mean, I feel like if you have to bullshit, that's kind of a lame thing to have to do. You know? I kind of feel like that's a lame thing to have to do. If trainers can talk gay sh uh, shit, I can say fuck, it's only fair. Hold on, one second, you guys.
I'm pause this real quick because I was telling Relic about uh, the voiceover of that kangaroo getting punched in the face. And uh, it's right here. Let me see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see, right here. I think this is it. Alright, let's see if we can get it sideways. Come on. It's going to work. Alright. Me and my trench coat are gonna stream in half an hour. Alright. Lame fuckers give you good coke, then sneak in house and take it back. Tartridge uh, family, motherfucker, it's only a fool would fight a kangaroo. Oh, it's it's true, it's a vine, uh, 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 um, Joker, check this out, watch. See if I can get it to move over to the side, if it will. Maybe not. But I was telling, uh, I was telling Ruck, there's a voiceover that they did. Um, yeah, there's a voiceover of it going on. So here it is, look. A little bit funny of an edit, but nonetheless. More like drench coat. It's not a trench coat, it's a dressing gown. But yeah, that really did uh that really did happen. Uh Joker, there was a dude that was I guess his dog was getting yeah, his dog was getting attacked by a kangaroo or his like the, the kangaroo was holding the dog down and the owner came running out. And like completely just hooked this fucking kangaroo right in the face, just hit him with a hook. Um, and and just the look on the kangaroo's face when he got hit was hilarious. You know, I mean, there, there's plenty of of uh, like edits to, done to that. You know, like there's stuff like this, like there's this. That's some funny shit, man. I'm telling you. Let a dude have to sort something out. Shotguns. All right, I got you, Carl. One kick from Maru uh, is is death. Yeah, that's what made it funny though, Joker, is he came and hit the fucking dog in the face, or hit the kangaroo in the face, and that kangaroo just stared at him like, like he was all shocked that he just got hit in the face. Like, it was like taken back that an actual human put their hands on him. To be fair, it was a weak punch. I mean, yeah, it didn't look like he really was like trying to actually like hit him as hard as he can. It looked like he was just trying to hit him, you know, to, to kind of get him to back the fuck up on the dog. But it was funny as fuck, though, because the kangaroo just, his face, when he looked at him, like, what? Like, he, he was, like, taken back, like he actually got punched in the face. Hilarious as fuck. Yeah, the Rue was like, what the fuck? And then it makes it funnier when there's a follow-up video. Um, you know... When he goes to this dude's window and, like, you know, starts banging on it. Uh, let's see if I can find it. He went, like, to, he went to, like, this dude's window and actually found out where he lived. Um, let me see. This is the same kangaroo at this dude's fucking house now. You know? Just outside his, uh, outside his place. Oh, 
Oh man, greatest thing ever. Greatest shit ever. What's going on, David? Dance, uh, grab my dog. Oh, uh, uh, sling it tree to tree. That was a good voiceover you played, right? Right, where the voiceover. But yeah, that same, that same kangaroo just went to that dude's house and was trying to break the glass. Yeah, yeah, right? Right, Joker? He's like, no, 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 we're not done yet. He found out where that dude lived and he was actually at his window. He's like, you think you're hard, do you? Come out then. <laughs> then come fight me. <laughs> yeah, right? He's like full body hitting into the window. That's some funny shit, man. That was probably one of the funniest uh, animal versus human thing going on. Was that was that kangaroo and that dude? He does. He wants a rematch. That dude obviously, you know, got a got a cheap shot on him, and he wasn't expecting it. And now he's ready. He's like, okay, I've been doing some push-ups, bro. I've been doing some sit-ups too. Let's let's do, let's go. You caught me off guard at first. I wasn't ready. Now I've been warmed up. Now I'm ready. Full body just like smacking into his window. <laughs> Greatest thing ever. I think that that vine and one more, um, you know, well, there's only one more that that's just as funny. Yeah, yeah, he was ready. He was ready to to beat the shit out of that guy. There's only that vine that was funny, and then there's another one that's pretty fucking hilarious too. There's only one other one that's that's pretty hilarious, is this one that I've seen when Vine was still going. Uh, here, check this out. You'll get a good laugh out of this. I know it's a little, it's a little bright. I'll turn it down a little bit so you guys can see it. Hold up. Let's see if I can get it down to a really good brightness. <clears throat> Have you seen the one with a guy having a dump and the and donkey? No, I didn't see that one, Joker. But yeah, there's there's this one. Like I was just saying, it's a little bright. So 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 if you can't see what what exactly happened was, this guy was was uh, in the car with his dog and he was driving and I guess there was a song playing, um, and a song was playing. And he leaned over and like slapped his dog on the chest. Now, never mind, this dog is sitting like a fucking human. This dog's sitting on its ass, just sitting there chilling. And the owner slapped the dog on the chest. And then he just stares at him with like this stare, like, you know, you know, like, because he just slapped him. Hi, <laughs> Paco, everyone, much love and respect. What's going on, Sam? How you doing, man? Hopefully you're you're doing pretty good with uh, your knee, man. What's going on, Susie? Hopefully your knee's uh, going pretty, you know, is is uh, healing up pretty nicely, Sam. Kind of sucks to hear that that happened to you, man. I'm I'm sorry to hear about that. But hopefully you're 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 doing all right, Sam. Sam, Susie, Lulu, hi Sam, hey Raider. It's like a big love fest, it's like a film reunion. Let's see if I can show it this way. This way might be a little bit easier. You feeling better, Sam? Here. Nope, still bright. <laughs> Just the look he gave him. I'm pretty good, Susie. I was showing uh, I was showing Joker the uh, the vine of the dude that like punched the kangaroo in the face. I was showing him that because he didn't see it. Um. Yeah, I was showing Joker, because he lives down in Australia, I was showing him uh, the uh, the dude that punched that kangaroo in the face 
when his uh when the kangaroo was on top of that guy's dog and he was like trying to get the dog you know his dog back so he punched the kangaroo in the face <laughs> i was showing joker that and then i showed him the other one the one i just showed of uh the guy ran in the car with his dog and he like, slapped his dog on the chest and the look he gave him i always find that look just to be funny because like he just slapped him on the chest and his dog just stared at him like i dare you to do that again I dare you. I'm still in pain, guys, but thanks for asking. What are you up to, Sam? What do you got going, man? What do you got going? Susie, hey? Put my bed back on. Hey, Susie. You know, you know who the lead singer of this band is, right? I think I've already asked you that. So, for watching, go on to stream. Talk about 45 minutes. Okay, yeah, I'll join you in that, Sam. I think I've asked you that though, uh, Susie, if you know who the lead singer of this band is. Damn, I don't stand a chance. What are you talking about, Lulu? I said, I asked you, did you know who the lead singer of this band is? I was playing right now. Ghost? This isn't Ghost. You don't? Uh, Cause he's a wrestler, I thought you would know. How are you, Lulu and Paco and Susie? I'm good, Sam, I'm good, man. Thanks, Sam. There, Sam got it. Chris Jericho. Easy. You can tell by the voice. You can tell by his voice. His singing voice is still the, the voice that he cuts promos with. Oh, hell yeah. Now, now, Sam, you're you're a wrestling fanatic. Here's gonna be a hard one for you. This exact song that's playing right now. What wrestler uses this as a theme song? I want to see if you're really indulged in wrestling, like you like you kind of seem you are. Or hell, even Susie. Name name the wrestler that uses as his entrance music. This is gonna be good. Bret Hart? No. <laughs> Let's see, or if Susie or Sam can get this. Because they're both wrestling fanatics. I want to see if they can get this. Oh, you got a phone call? Okay. Well, Susie, you're all alone then. <laughs> if you do know, you don't have to answer it. But just if you do know. Grab right knee feeding. Oh, well, Susie left too. What the fuck? They're fucking cheating. I bet both of them are cheating right now. They're going to go look it up. They both simultaneously, they left. They're both going to go look real quick.
ECW? Yeah, I watched ECW. Yeah, with Sabu. Yeah, Terry Funk. Um, Sabu and, and, and Rob Van Dam and Jerry Lynn. You know. Um, yeah, I watched ECW. The Dudley Boys before they, you know, before they kind of became like a well-known tag team. How's it going, Bruder? Now, now we'll give it like two or three minutes. I bet you Susie and Sam are both going to check it out. Yeah, Sandman came from ECW. Yeah. Now I'll give it like two minutes. They both left, and I'm pretty sure one of them is at least going to go try to find out. Of course, I'll just give away the answer once the song's over. Yeah, Sandman came from ECW, yeah. I remember that, b -Lamb. I know he came from ECW. A lot of wrestlers came from ECW. Like I said, Rob Van Dam pretty much came from ECW. Uh, Sandman came from ECW. Uh, Dudley Boys were pretty much taking over uh, wrestling terrain, but they came from ECW as well. Um, you know, Terry Crews was in ECW. How how does Sam not get it? Sue doesn't get it. They're both wrestling fanatics, but B Lamb gets it. Beyond me. Yeah, a little interesting wrestling fact is Sting did use this in the WCW, WCW days as their wrestling entrance. You would think Susie or Sam would get that, and they're both wrestling like they're, they're hardcore still in the wrestling today. I'm not into wrestling nowadays, but I would at least know that because that's old school. Yeah, yeah, you're like me, B-Lamb, yeah. That's how I am, BLM. I'm a, I'm a really old school wrestling guy. Bring back little person wrestling. Little person wrestling? <laughs> I didn't even know there was such thing as little person wrestling. Tommy Dreamer was great. Tommy Dreamer was pretty good. You know, in his in his younger days. Now nowadays, when he tries to wrestle, it was not so great. Tell him it was Joint the Clown. Joint the Clown. It's sad that the original Doink fucking died years ago. You know, but they replaced him with Brooklyn Brawler all of a sudden. You know, it's just not the same though. There was a lot of, um, 
Ultimate Warrior was a, a phenomenon. Yeah, Ultimate Warrior was a was a phenomenon. Um, back in the back in the eighties and shit, and even early nineties, he was a phenomenon. Razor Ramon, Razor Ramon was a uh, Scott Hall. Yeah, was a a big uh, a big uh, wrestling star in the in the early nineties. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Yeah, hell, even Bam Bam Bigelow. You know, not a whole lot of. All right, you're gonna start your stream. Let me see. All right, if you hold off for like two minutes, Lulu, I'll I'll uh, I'll, I'll end mine. I'll cut mine down so you can uh, you could uh, you can do yours. Classy Freddie Blassie, yeah, rest in peace uh, to Classy Freddie Blassie, man. He died like early, you know, mid mid to early two thousands. Yeah, rest in peace to 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 Freddie Blassie. He's uh, he's gonna be missed. Bravefart, Vader. Vader doesn't have too much time to live, B Lamb. I don't know if you know that. Uh, Vader is on a on a on a lifespan. Like, no, no, no. I'm good. I'll, I'll cut mine down so you can uh you can have your stream going. Um. But yeah, Vader. Vader is uh he's on a uh he's pretty much his his time's ticking because he he is gonna die pretty soon. You know his doctors have have told him that he's gonna be passing away pretty soon, so so Vader's. I mean, props to Vader though. He's still wrestling in independent circuits and shit. He's still wrestling, um, but but yeah, he's. Uh, why are loads of wrestlers dead? Uh, mostly steroid use or drug use or, uh, you know, or whatever. No, no, that's all good, Sam. It's all good, man. Um, but yeah, yeah, B Lamb. Vader doesn't. Uh, Big Van Vader. Yeah, he doesn't have much time to live, man. He's he's gonna be dying either this year or probably the beginning of next year. He's he's on a he's on a very short time, and, and Vader's gonna be passing away. His his doctors have told him he doesn't have long to live. So uh, yeah, Vader's gonna be gonna be passing away from from what I hear, pretty uh, pretty soon. <clears throat> But like I said, hell, for someone that knows that they're gonna be dying pretty soon and still is gonna go out wrestling, fuck yeah, I'm, um, you know, respects goes out to Vader for still wrestling, knowing that he's gonna be dying pretty soon. Extraterrestrial, how you doing, man? Salute to you. But guys, we're probably gonna be cutting this down because we're gonna let, uh, we're gonna let Lulu do her stream. I don't wanna kind of, you know, I'm kind of gonna cut my, uh, cut my stream off and and let, uh, let Lulu do her stream and. You know, um, give her her time to have fun and, and interact with people. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, guys, probably gonna cut this off. I'm gonna go watch some streams. We talking about wrestling? We were talking about wrestling, Sam. Yeah, we were talking about how Vader's gonna be uh, dying pretty soon, either this year or beginning of next year. We talked about wrestling. Some wrestlers that were cool, you know, that are kind of. You know, not really wrestling anymore or passed away. Freddie Blassie, you know, Razor Ramon, Vader. Um, yeah, yeah, guys, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna go watch some Paco Got Big. I've been the same size, Law. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm, I'm gonna cut this off, though, you guys. I'm gonna let, uh, I'm gonna let Miss uh, Miss Lulu take over. I'm gonna probably watch her stream. So if you catch me in there, um, if you catch me in there, you know, say what up. If you catch me in any stream, say what up, you know. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go around streams, and uh, that's about it. But all right, guys. Thank you to everybody that stopped in, said what up, and, and hung out. I appreciate it. Um, you know, much love, much respect. You know, all all support to to all you guys that that uh, come in and and show support as well. Always appreciate it. But uh, that's about it. That's about it. Everybody have a have a good uh, a good uh, day, rest of their day or morning. To you know, Joker and uh, <clears throat> Sam, I will be in your stream when you're doing your song request. I'll pop and I'll say what up to you like I normally do. Lulu, I'll be in your stream. You know, I'll be I'll be in a lot of streams throughout the day. I'll pop in here and there and 
say what up to people and you know on and on and on but uh yeah that's about it guys take it easy go show uh go show lulu some uh some uh support go to her stream and say what up to her um hell and when sam fires up his stream he has a whole lot of people that go into his stream already but yeah drop in say what up to sam as well because you know he messed up his knee and he kind of could could use maybe some support you know um because he's in a knee immobilizer and uh you know sam's a good dude so it's a definitely just drop by show some support for sam as well when he does his uh song requests and uh that's about it that's all i gotta say i'm just you know throwing out throwing out some some people that are that are gonna be streaming sam he said he's gonna be streaming lou is gonna be streaming in a minute here sam's gonna be streaming in like less than an hour so like i said go check them out take it easy you guys have a, have a good rest of your day morning evening you know wherever you're at and uh that's about it Nora, what's going on? Uh, what's going on, Norov? You kind of came in at the last second, buddy. But uh, I, I respect to you, Norov. Good stream yesterday, man. Um, yeah, it was a good stream, man. Definitely was a good stream. I enjoyed it, even though I didn't get to catch a whole lot of it because I came at the tail end, too, just like you just did. Um, thanks, Paco. You're awesome. Yeah, no problem, Sam. But, uh, yeah, good stream yesterday, Norov. Respect to that, man. Fucking salute to you. Hopefully you and your wife... Are doing awesome, and uh, yeah. Make sure to check out Norov too. I know he's not streaming today. I don't think he is, but check out Norov too, and uh, go check out his his spider collection. You know, if you're into that kind of stuff, check that guy out too. But guys, that's it. <clears throat> now I'm definitely cutting this shit off because I've just been rambling, and I'm getting the fuck off of here. And uh, that's about it. Take it easy. I'm out.